What's good, guys? Chilling. We sample bro? everything. We sample everything. Sampling everything. everything. That's right. Yeah. Oh, shit. Welcome Sampling to what? Like always. That's right. <laughs> so look, so I, you saw you saw me posting those videos for the sample track in the Lo-Fi Twelve. Yeah, yeah. Look, man, I forgot all the control on them shits, bro. I've been away for oh, it so long. Yeah, I'm, I'm back in the manual like 101. I'm like, wait, yeah, what's the button? The simple track. Yeah. The simple track. I, I I like it. Yeah. But it's it's it, it's the work the workflow is kind of clunky. Oh my god. So it's like it's it's. I mean, you can do the stuff that you need to do, right? But mm -hmm. the weird part is, it's like not in the places where you necessarily expect it to be. Yeah. You know, and then in the yeah. menu diver, like yeah. each menu, when you go into sample and you open the clip up and it's like 20 menus, you're like, shit, man. Yeah, I, yo, I, I, I'll be honest with you, like, uh, when, whenever I use sample track, if it don't come out right, I just redo it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, yeah. I'm not trying to edit yeah. nothing on that. I'm just like, yo, I'm just going to redo it. Because, yeah. like, because because when I'm trying to figure it out, that's when I just kind of forget, forget whatever idea I had. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm just going to just play it over. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, if you feed it right, you're good. Same thing with the Lo-Fi 12. If you feed it the samples the right way, like if you chop into it, like the chops that you want, you're good. Mm -hmm. But like on mm -hmm. this last one, I had a sample and it's like a little bit out of tune and I was trying to tune it and then, bro, that shit was so, ah. So then when you tune it, you have to tune it by 100s, which is like one pitch, but you can push a little button down mm -hmm. and tune it by little, you know, mini pitches. But I can mm -hmm. never even get it to that. After it's on the track, you can't, you can't, ah, oh, man, that whole shit. Yeah, I, yo, I tell you, I, 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 I never really got really, like, like deep into that shit. Like, I, I, I just, for me, like, it, like I like it because it was, like, mobile. But all I wanted to do, I, I really liked it just for the fact that you could just, you had, like, a really good mic. Yeah. Um, or not mic, but the really good input. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, uh, wherever you want, where, wherever you was at. You know what I'm saying? So like, good, like, and plus, like, it's a, um, it's an interface too, right? I don't, I don't. It might be. I mean, but so yeah. the interface, so the in and outs are definitely good. And you can use the um, external, you know, USB. So I can plug my iPhone directly to it, like mm -hmm. USB and sample off that. Mm -hmm. I, so I, I was all back, and it's good to be all back with that joint. It, I was trying to do like what I do with the OP one, but some about the workflow. You're right, man. It, yeah, it, uh, it's it's just, it's just it, it doesn't really like it, it's it like it's a dope machine if you get to know how to use it and everything like that. Yeah. It, it's one of those machines where it, you're not just going to go on that joint every once in a while. You're gonna have to have you gonna have to like like have your regular workflow on the sample track yeah like the um even it, heck even at the lo-fi joints they're the same same kind of way like because when i because i had like stopped using the joint and then i got the lo-fi six and i went back on and i was like oh snap that's right oh mm -hmm. that's how we do it like yeah you know. yeah but i can program but drums like on the, the lo-fi like that's easier so the programming drum pattern is a lot easier on the lo-fi um 12 and i guess yeah, probably you six a little step pattern yeah, you, yeah. you know like you're good and then the swing you just dial it like you can't like yeah you can't you can't lose on the sequencer you know what i'm saying but you, you know you know to me like i i i i feel like that that those machines work best with loops the lo fi yeah they work best with loops, yeah so. i can see that you know what i mm -hmm. mean so like they uh so like that's why i always like to kind of like make my loops <clears throat> and throw them in there and let it loop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, cause like the the sequence is nice, but like if you don't if you don't have those samples like like truncated just right, and you can get you know good fine tuning on the, on a uh, you know on a sample start sample and everything like that. Yeah. But like you know, it, it's it, it's you know it's, it's gonna be it. It's a work of art. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's that compromise. But work I, of I, I, lo I love the low fives. The low fives, I love both of them. Shoes, you know? It's just not enough time on it. That's the thing about it. So, like, I had the sample, I did on the sample, the low five 12. Like, four seconds, man. I had an eight bar loop I was trying to sample. Like, I would have had to sample each four bars, like, a, um, I would have had to sample each four bars into a sample, right? And then use track one for the first part, then track two, track three, track four, and use the whole thing to switch shops. <laughs> Or uh, what? Par parameter lock on them? Oh wait, oh wait! You were trying to chop the you were trying to chop the samples? Yeah, well I had a sample that was like say it's like twelve to sixteen seconds long. The whole I had an eight bar loop I was trying to put on. Eight bar loop. So if it all right, so you 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 ain't speeding it up? Yeah, but it is it would have been four times sped up, and it still wasn't gonna fit. No, I mean like no, could you could you just sample bit by bit? Yeah, it wasn't. That shit wasn't gonna fit, man. So I, if I did nah, four you, samples, no, I might. What I'm saying is, 
what I'm saying is like on on each on each sample slot, you have like like maybe like two bars. Like you know what I mean? You speed it up. Yeah, I didn't want to. You get two balls on the first, two balls on the second, two balls on the third, two balls on the fourth. Like that's what I'm saying. Like to, to, if you wanna if you wanna do something like that, that's why I was saying before. Like you really should like if you want like with the low five joints. If you really really want um, it's like get crazy with it. Like all the sounds that's in there. Like you might want to just dedicate that to like just like maybe one or two different tracks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like so that way you could have as min- as much of a sample yeah. that you need in there. You got to really mm. plan it out. <laughs> You know? Yeah. And then like, and then like, if you chop, because chopping it is, is fine as long as you, as long as you got the um, you got to have it perfectly recorded. You know what I mean? Like, no, like, no. like, uh, and so you know, pressing yeah. that button at one e and a two e and a three e and a four e, you know. Yeah. So you so you can you can't use a live drummer either. You got to be like to the grid if you want to have it chop right. You know, in the drum mode, like. Your chops can't be loose. Yeah, like you can't just true. take it like a that's drum true. break and then stick it in there and chop it based off that because that human timer is gonna get your snare later early. Yeah, it'd be dope if they if they updated the chop where you could um lazy chop just to start points. Not even not even oh, that, oh, but oh, just let me adjust chop. the stop. Yeah, just let me adjust the start point of each chop. Mm. So that's what. That, so mm. the sample track is that Sonic Wear. Plus you can see it though. Sonic Wear, can you hear that? Hold on, Sonic Wear. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I love them low fives. Yeah. Let us adjust the start points of the chops. Please. With the value knob. Just Tell like me. select the chop and then use the value knob to, to, to take it closer or further out. Then sec- the second part of the chop, same yeah. thing. You could be real easy. Because one because one of the chops already chops it up, um chops it up like like um like piece by piece, yeah. you know, equally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it let me let me have that and then just let me go to each the uh the the sample start time and boop, yeah, boop, boop. Uh-huh. and and I, I don't care if it if it um adjusts the end time of the other one you know i don't care yeah i could i could live with that yeah mm. i could live with that how are you guys getting your sounds in there on them like what is the the hookup for it oh you just record with a um eighth inch um oh, okay. a mini jack okay. uh, uh aux chord right. Right so look, i'm just doing yeah so like all i'm doing now is using it just for drums mm. so i'm taking breaks Chopping them up in a way, you know, I can put it into the low 512 and then I'm just using eight eight breaks, you know, or, mm-hmm. or whatever. So the effects are, are nice. Um, yeah. The effects oh, are pretty good. I'm going to go get mine. I'm going to go get mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So chopping is dope. After you get the chops in and you sequence it out, before you finish your beat, you could do effects on each, like, on each track on each trigger you know what i'm saying so it's 16 okay. triggers across you get to put the reverb on one and the delay on another one okay. using parameter lock and then I'll, I'll wait for cheese to come back because i know he's probably doing that shit. how many effects <coughs> does it ha- come with yeah. she said how many effects it's like 32 effects on the low fives right or tw- 16. Mm, eight i was about to say so look, two, that's but amazing. here's the thing though but here's what's dope though. So the, you can put the um, effects on each trigger. So like after you make a whole beat sequence, you can put a reverb on every snare and then put a delay on something else later and use some mm-hmm. parameter locks using different effects on each one. Mm-hmm. Or you put it like, um, at one point I put a delay on everything and then just play the parameter lock for like um, the feedback. Mm-hmm. And you can record the, you know, you can record that as part of the sequence. And that's that's real dope to tell you the truth. These are fire, man. My battery's still working. That's a uh, six. Oh, oh it's battery operated. Yeah, low five six. Yeah, 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 yeah. It runs on six double A batteries, but it don't last very long. No, no. This one, the low five six. I didn't like the colorway at first. I'm not gonna lie. After I made a few beats on it, I was like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so the colorway looks you like how it saying? sounds though to me. So it looks like some old Flintstones yeah, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like some mm-hmm. 1970s mm-hmm. cartoon yeah. colorway. Yeah, it, it, it's it's um it's real retro. Like, but um but this joint is. It, it, it's tough, like you know what I mean. Like, like you get the um, the effects they give you, they give you a um, filter, um, flanger, chorus, delay, uh, reverb. You got bit crusher? <clears throat> I think. Yeah, bit crusher, definitely bit. You got crusher. a compressor? Because it's all the same effects as the twelve. As low fi twelve, but you also get the uh, maximizer. You got volume? The, maximizer. I mean the, the vinyl? Uh, no, this one has a tape. Tape, uh, tape effect. I don't really like the tape effect too much. It's uh, 
because the um the uh you know how they have the um the warble and the, um what is the um what, what are the two main controls? Wild flutter. The flutter. Yeah. Yes, the wild flutter. It just it, it just it's just like it goes crazy. It's in, and I haven't found it like very musical just yet. Just in, in, in my like in the time I've used it. But the the vinyl effect on the other one, the crazy thing about it was like that one. <clears throat> I, I realized something with that. I thought the vinyl effect was making making it crazy, but it wasn't. What was happening was I was um, turning the vinyl effect on, but like having a uh, how do I how do I explain this? Like I had it on, but I had the um, but I had the vinyl effect down. You know what I mean? And so like I had it on the vinyl effect, but I had the vinyl effect turned off. But I still hadn't had the, the audio being sent to it. So really, it was just louder because yeah, it was the, I had to I had it. Yeah, I just had it sending audio like to to the send effect, but the, but the send effect was off. But the shit would be bumping. Right. You know? That's how <laughs> like, you use it. Too. I don't use it. I don't use that. That static sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not terrible per se, but I mean it's not like necessarily what you want. It might, it's like too much to it, use. It, like if you could make it be every yeah, it now and then, add to it. nah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Doesn't yeah. add to it. You know what I mean? Like, like honestly, like what I would, what I would, what I would do is if I want, if I want static on the sample, I'm gonna actually sample static. Then sample the sample yeah. and resample the sample. With I, I know it sounds crazy, nah. but like. If you do that within the low fi 12, that's how you really, really, really gonna pull the sound out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like because you you sample it, you sample it, it's gonna sound kind of, kind of. You want to take it's gonna take its own character on, mm -hmm. and then you like get another copy of that. Like that's how, you know what I'm saying? Like, like like the old Xerox machines. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> flatten it out with the with the sound in it. I tell you yeah. what, um, nah. <laughs> what happened, bro? I lost, I lost it. I lost that shit. Yeah, I lost it. <laughs> it happens. But nah, but these are into fire, man. Like, like if you just, you just like, you just gotta um remember that you're not, you're not gonna be like, thing, you're not really gonna be doing too much of like, like all that finger drumming and stuff like that. They, I mean, with the chop, you can get a little bit like, you know, busy with it. But like, this is these are just really for you, like, to kind of like program the beat. Mm -hmm. At least in my experience, you know what I mean, yeah. and and uh, and and like like I said, if you if you just if you just work with loops, like with this, forget about it. Like you could do other stuff besides loops. Like definitely understand you could do other stuff besides loops because like you can play chords and everything, and you can like modulate damn near everything. You know what I mean? Like 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 the um the parameter lock and all that. It's just it's just you just just it's just automation. Yeah. Like uh, you know what I'm saying? Like that's all it is. I remember like, where I was going. So, so you know on the um, effects channels, you know on the demos, it has like the sound like the wind in the background on the twelve, and you have like the um, uh, like some like ambient type noise. I, I, don't, I don't, I never listened to the demos. I actually delete. Them. So no disrespect nah, to anybody right. made the demos, but nah. you know, I, I, I it's, it's a sampler. Like I want to empty. Yeah. It. <laughs> so, so on, so on the demos, on some of them, it'd be like a drums on one. It'd be like a music chop, and then like a bass line, but then fourth would be like an ambient effect, mm -hmm. like the wind. Or like um, water. Yeah, yeah. One of them has like water in the background, like rain. One has like thunder and rain, mm -hmm. right? I thought they had a, a vinyl effect on one of those patches, which is like a, a st sample of vinyl that was like looping. Mm -hmm. It might not done. Oh, oh, it's a sample. Damn, so I deleted you, that you deleted your um your six, <laughs> the ones off your six too? I deleted everything. Ah, damn, off, bro. Off the six? No, I ain't deleting nothing off the six yet. So look in the preset. So mm -hmm. on that first, the first bank, it's like um, one's drums and the second one's user bank. Or, oh no, it's it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same sample. Oh okay. I know okay. that for a fact. Okay. It's not. I know it's not the same sample. Like I listen. Like I know. I, I heard one <clears throat> or two uh, uh, of the like the the sounds in there, like or whatever. Because I, I don't. Because the sounds aren't bad, yeah. but they're just not my favorite. You know what I mean? And you know, and so like, and th that's always how it is. Like with mm -hmm. a sample, like yeah. I always want to throw my sounds in there. I want it to sound like me, not yeah. like. Whatever you give, you give me. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I raise the drums, but, uh, but I, so I, I replaced all the drums with drum traps, right? I kept like the bass and I kept some of the basic <laughs> instruments just because they sounded like dirty as hell. And like I think mm -hmm. I could like that little cheap piano in there and like the cheap like organ and stuff. I was like, oh yeah, I could use this. Like I don't, I don't need to like resample mm -hmm. this. If I ever needed it, I'd leave that there. It's just like a one patch. 
But um, yeah, and, and the dope shit about it, it's only one note. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it's not like <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a thing. It's, it's not like it's not like it's multi sample. Mm-hmm. You, you it's, it's one note and it's mm-hmm. getting stretched. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like you can use it on the clean so. side or the dirty side. So you stretch it real far, and then mm-hmm. you can let it be gritty, and then you got an effect, or she just put it where it's kind of close, and then you're like, okay, this is supposed to be a piano. Yeah. How much space does it have? This one, like sound. Um, I mean, internally, it's got what, the whole um, thing. Or is uh. Seconds. All right, so yeah, I have no the lo fi twelve each, each. All right, so all right, so each one of these right here is a sample slot, right? So you got sixteen, and I think you got eight banks, so it's 128, 128 slots. So each one of the slots on the twelve is four seconds. Okay. Whereas on the eight, I mean the six, each one of the slots is eight seconds. Okay. So, so you you know it, I I I was at one twenty eight times. Four, that's four times 100 is 400 times 20 is 80 times 8 is 32. Five, so that's 512 seconds. Yeah, yeah. 512 okay. seconds. And this one got 1024 seconds. Damn. Yeah. It's not bad. So, I mean, it, yeah. and, but all these, oh, this one is all mono. Whereas the other joint is. I, can, no, I think it's mono too. They're both mono. Is uh-huh. it? So I, so okay. I, I was looking for I that. thought that joint was serious. Now, so you, you could make the samples longer <laughs> if you use that 20, 24K kilohertz. But it's they're both mono. Sample. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I use it on the other one anyway. I use it maxed out. There's only two seconds on the low five twelve. You get four by going mm-hmm. twelve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, it's low five twelve. Oh yeah, so and then the low five twelve has like the twelve bit button or whatever. Yeah. But I don't know when, like, so when you when you when you using a sampler, right? Like, I, like when I use when I use like a uh, um like any software or whatever. And when it goes from 16 to 12 bit, like, there's not like a real big, like, discernible difference. Like, I mean, it is somewhat, but just the bit rate itself, like, I don't really, I don't really hear, start hearing like that difference until you start messing with that, uh, with the sample rate. At least, at least in my ears. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, because I, I know there's more noise with, with the low bit rate, but like, I don't know, it's just between 12 and 16, it's just. I can hear it. I don't know, it's just, you hear yeah. it? Yeah, mostly on drums though. So drums and bass, right? It rolls off a little top okay. and it gives a, like a little thickness. It's like the mm-hmm. um, it's like the SP, like the MPC sixty. Yeah, no, you know no, I'm no, I'm, no. But like, I, 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 I'm not saying like you like, I, um, I guess it's it's because I, like, it's because I'm used to it with like software and uh-huh, stuff like that. Because uh-huh. like in the software, when you when you put that, and even on the low five twelve, when you put that when you put that twelve bit button on. I don't. I don't hear very much of a difference. It's subtle, you know I mean? but like, like, yeah, I mean, you can hear crunching. Yeah, it, it's very, very subtle. Yeah. Very subtle. Very, very subtle. It's not like you. you it's not like you want to turn it on. And it's like oh, low fi You know what I'm saying? Like, it's true. You know, you turn it on, you're gonna hear it. It's like yeah. it's, it's it doesn't. It's not something like I don't know. It, it's dope or whatever. Like I, I like I said, the low fi talk is dope. You know, I love that. Yeah. Joint, but yeah. like, I don't really hear like this huge, huge difference when you when you uh, put that put that button on. It's just like with the six, they have the two. You don't hear like a huge, huge difference. It it it, it, it brings it might adds like a, a little bit of like punch yeah. to it or whatever, but it's not like not even punch. It's really like kind of like I would almost say like a, like a little bit of brightness okay. to it because you know it, like it's 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 a it's a uh, kind of a, a, a like a kind of a dark sounding machine yeah. anyway you know what yeah. I mean so like but I don't know I don't mess with tubes too Not much bad. anyway man I'm like so tube was like real big back I remember when we were coming up in like late 90s everybody was like oh I want to tube this and tube that like good tube shit you can't hear like you can't hear the tube it sounds almost like solid state it's just like a refined sound like mm-hmm. uh, cheap tube mm-hmm. stuff is when you hear like the art it had like that art tube um, compressor like the one that's like a hundred bucks. Pro VLA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I had the one to tube that. that. The Pro VLA is pretty good. <laughs> I got that here. But um, yeah. When you have like cheaper tubes, this kind of folds up once you, once you like add a little bit too much gain, it just it kills the mm-hmm. sound, bro. It gets like real plasticky, and like not really authentic. And sometimes you use it for an effect, but it's not really the best effect. Like it's not fattening your shit in the way you think. You know. Mm-hmm. The Pro See? Pro VLA is good if you feed it, um, like keep the input low and then pump the output out. You can make it sound real yo, fast. Yo, I'm the Pro VLA. I remember that when I had that joint. Like I remember, I was just um, I remember I was making drums one time, 
and I um and I uh and I had it made a snare and I had laid it with like mad different sounds and I had figured out finally figured out how exactly how to uh, set the attack mm -hmm. for it so with like so so would make it more more uh, punchy. Mm -hmm. Yo, let me tell you that like like to this day I'm like yo man maybe I should go get another one of these yeah. shit <laughs> because like that snare that I made like just like you know what I mean it was it was like it was like uh like like FAC transient but in your mm -hmm. house. <laughs> versus in your iPad, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I mean, I still got it. I mean, I bought it for like three hundred. I'll, I'll never get rid of the VLA. I got the VLA too. Mm -hmm. I think they they might went up a little bit, but it's at one point it's like the cheapest good compressor you could get, like two channel compressor you could get, like under a thousand. Mm -hmm. Like if you just, as long as you use it yeah. halfway decent, yeah, you'll be fine. And it does a lot. I was, I was putting my whole mix through there at one point, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, that's one thing I didn't do. I was like running my bass through there. Um, and just and then just using it to like make sounds, yeah. you, you know what I mean? Like make make help like make drum. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but <laughs> dude, this it, you know what? It's better that way sometimes, man. Because you just like then like yeah. I'm turn some knobs to some shit happens that like and you're like oh this is it, and then you just sample that in, and then you got a yeah. new sound. Somebody can read the book and be like, yeah, wait, yeah. it's not supposed to do that. No, nah, no, don't turn that button too yeah. hard. That's not. And then you fuck it up, man, because you kind of like messing up the experimentation. Mm -hmm. Go blind, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Go in without touching. Just be like, I don't know what this does. Let's see what happens. I love that, bro. That's like yeah. some of my, the best stuff yeah, I did when I was coming up. Man. Like after I learned the books, it's like uh, start following the rules and shit. Mm. Yeah. Well, the six looks like a um. You know what I thought about this? The, the Lo-Fi 12 colorway is like a Volkswagen bus. The old, <laughs> the hippie bus from back in the 60s. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> the light green, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Yo, you know, you know, it's, 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 supposed, to, it's supposed to look like the, um, it's supposed to look like the 50s. Yeah. Something like that. Like, well, the 12 looks yeah, like, the, um, like some... the Akai a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when, um, because the, the, the 12, I put, you know, right next to the, um, the S, the, the Akai S20, they almost, it's almost oh, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the old, yeah, like, yeah, the 90s yeah. computer and, and, color. And, and, and the crazy thing is that sound is uh, on the two real close too. Really? Like the Lo-Fi 12 and the S20. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good to know. Uh, uh, like it's this it's, it's like they both like I wouldn't say it's like identical, but like you you hear one and like you hear the other one and, and they kind of both bring you to the same like mm. place. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like 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 because as soon as I don't know, yo, as soon as I, I, I got the Lo-Fi 12 and I sampled into okay. it. I was like, yo, this just taking me back to like college, like when I first got my first, first, first mm, sample. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and and, and it's that S twenty, you know. So Okay, I yeah, see. Six twelve. Yeah, that shit got a lot of buttons. Yeah, it, it's it's it, it like it like all of these eyes, right, so all of these down here, this is the these is the keyboard, right? Then this right here is your step sequencer. And then these, all these little buttons, these right here is for the um, for you to access each track. You can mute or um, or solo the tracks or whatever. This is your function button, your shift button. So the function, basically, you press this button and pretty much any other button, it gives you another um, another another function for the button. And then the shift button, you, you, it's the same thing as a function, but it's for the knobs. You know what I mean? And and uh, and. And that's it. Is it. A lot down. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, you got the overlay too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this joint right here, yo. The funny thing is like, I was using this joint so much that I, I I didn't need to use the overlay, mm -hmm. like, cause I was just like, um, cause like this one tells you like, as you use this when you're in sample editing, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and, and you can adjust like different things like for the sample, you can reverse it, loop it, the start and end point, the pitch, the level. Um, shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you could change um, how uh, the sample, the sample rate. Like, if you're going to 24 hertz, uh, but not not on this one. This one, you you, you stuck mm. at six hertz. They just didn't change this thing. That's, That's dope, though. The way they gave it, you know, that little piece for the extra mm -hmm. stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's fire, yo. I, yo, I I I, I fuck with these hard body. I wish I I ain't gonna lie, like. If, if I had the bread to like approach them and be like, yo, I, I, I'm going to try to make the lo-fi 12 over again um, and put the lo-fi and, and let it sample like a lo-fi 6 as well and have like fucking multiple outs. I need four outs. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. Four outs. I don't need no more. Four outs. Give me one out per track. 
That's you it. seen that new um, keyboard they're making right now? It's like pre-order only. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's the ELZ one, right? Doctor Uendo, or Doctor, I think it's like that's how his name is. Doctor Uendo, the guy that, that from okay, Sonic. Oh, yeah, Grand. I know you're talking about the dude. Yeah, so he has mm-hmm. this new pa- like he sent an email out to all the people. You probably got it too, and it's like, hey, we have a new passion project we're coming out with. This is like our monster keyboard. Like the ELZ one was their first keyboard, like the kind of like an OP one copy, right? But now they have this new one, mm-hmm. and they're, they're coming out with it. Has like a LED screen. It's like real big. Take a look on the site, man. They have this brand new one. Does yeah, it hasn't even come out yet. Yeah, I think it samples and a synthesizer Ooh. engine on it. Let me pull it up. What? What? Yeah, see. Uh, uh, I think it's the ELZ. Let me pull it up. Let me make sure I say it right. Sorry. But you have to pre-order it. It's only pre-orders. Let me see. I'll tell you what it's called. Okay. Listen, Sonicware should be cheap. So I ain't mad at the pre-order. Oh, it's, it's from Sonicware? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. ELZ1 is the... um. Uh, ELZ1 is the main instrument, right? But they have this new version of it coming out that's like a pre-order only. Let me see if this is it. I'm looking at it right yeah. now. So the ELZ1 is supposed to be their killer, their OP1 killer. ELZ1 oh, yeah. play. Amazing. Yeah, that's what it is. They play. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. So the one is already the OP1 killer from their, like their version of the OP1 killer. But then the play is supposed to be like a Amazing. bunch of new stuff added to it. And it's like, like I say, pre-order only. They're, they're only making like a limited amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah first project. Dr. Endo, his name is Dr. Endo. Um, let's see, I think so. I think it does everything. I think it's supposed to be their everything box. Yeah, the, the better screen. Um, yeah, shipping in October. Yeah, 200 units sweet. sold out, 50, another 50, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they have synthesizer engines, um, model strings. Yeah, I think it does um, sampling too. Let me just make sure. Is that the one that's 600? Yeah, yeah the play. Yeah, the play. The new play yeah. one. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure it samples. I'm just waiting. I'm just going through the specs. Four track looper for easy one touch record. That's a synthesizer. Yeah. It's, I think it's supposed to be, yeah, like the OP1. Four track looper. Bunch of drum kits and stuff. Uh-huh. I still don't want to see where it says sample though. Maybe it doesn't. I thought it did though. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, it doesn't have a line, a line input either. Auxiliary in, it's like eighth inch. That's Recording cool. from the built-in sound source. Line input and USB audio input. So I don't see why not. I mean, I don't know mm-hmm. if you're going to be able to... It's a sample pack. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. New four track looper for easy one touch. Record, playback, oh, but see, yeah, I'm not sure. That don't mean I just gonna sample direct input. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah, you know what I mean. You, you it's it, they give you. Oh no, DNA Explorer ex- extract and generate waveform DNA from all. Yeah, it looks kind of dope too. It does look. Look nice. at the sand flute, the mass oh, noise. Bri, yeah, I know. Why you do this to me? Christmas bri. is coming, man. Come on. <laughs> I was gonna about this today. It, it could be Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, nah, this is very pretty. Yeah, yeah, this shit looks dope. <laughs> you, you know, I stay with the gas. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, but think about it though. Shit. See, even even though, like, yeah, no, it says it says only fifty left. That, that, that's, know. You know, because I ain't gonna lie, I was looking at the um the Roland Gaia yeah. today. Huh. The guy is, is it two? limited order too. Seen that joint? Nah, the guy is two going to be there. Sure. Like, <laughs> that's why I was just looking at this one. This is so much pressure. <laughs> oh, these joints are shipping in yeah. December. Oh yeah, I see. The, oh damn, this guy looks dope. That's not for me, but ah uh, shit, the X Y directional pad. Nah, just, you want to know why I was looking at it? Cause it's um, I, I was looking at it, and, and you know, I love you know, I love synthesizing mm-hmm. and all that. Um, but um. Uh, the joint is bus power. Got us down. Yeah. So, you know, so once you, it, 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 I, it it's bus power. So that, that right there, like, bang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's an MPC mm-hmm. one, you know, best friend. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's the MIDI controller and, and, uh, and, and, and the mm-hmm. synthesizer all in the same place. You know, I just put the audio cables and boom, it like, put them right next to each yeah, other, you know? Yeah. So, I can see that. I can see that being a good combination. You know, yeah. that's, that, that's it. Cause, like, cause the um, the what's it called? The um, base station is bus power too, but it's monophonic. Mm. And I have the base station, you know what I mean? So, yeah. you know what I mean? But like, I was just looking at shit, just to look at shit. But this right it here does. is dope as fuck. 
dope as it fuck. It does. Oh, damn. I'm leaving alone now. You get it, you tell me about it, and then I buy one. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's how everybody does to me. They be like, hey, I'm you heard about this cheese? Oh, you heard about it? They be like, yo, 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 cheese, you heard about this? How is yeah. it? I'm gonna sell it for the company. I'm trying to help them out. Yeah. Yeah. Those fuckers always, always try to well, catch cheese 900. out there. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know. Which one? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I just looked at it. I was like, ooh, that's dope. Mmm, mm, I'm thinking about it. This drink right here, 600 is like, I'm like, oh, okay, but it's depression. You know what I mean? Like the other one was the, um, the low five six. That's only 300. I was like, oh, no, fuck it. Boom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I'm like, I, 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 you know, shoot first, ask questions last. But yeah. this? No, we got to ask questions first. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, right. No, you're right now. When the next right. 100 start piling on top, yep. Yeah, yeah, man. Did you get half a thou? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let, let me, let me ask, let me find out. Like, because, like, 250 in, into 300, like, I, I'm like, I, like, I could be impulsive. But, like, when you get, like, four, five, six, mm-hmm. I'm like, whoa, mm-hmm. whoa. But this joint right here, this joint, if, if this joint, if they, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you. If I, if they did came on, if I came on in and it's just said this shit was $300, just off the way it look out of it. Like, just, <laughs> that shit look futuristic yeah. as hell. And I'd be like, and I, I just, I just tr- trust um, Sonic Wear that much at this point. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Your like, stuff sounds real I, good. I, I, I like the way this mm-hmm. shit goes. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, but it's six or seven hundred, six hundred, right? See now that's my brain like trying to like <laughs> make it sound less what, bad. The play? Like no. Yeah, six hundred. Yeah, yeah. six hundred, right? Mm. Hey, look. So look, you're saying. Um, Here he go. Look, look for look. <laughs> they said if you uh, order the pre-order, you get your name on the special thanks inside the unit. Oh my. <laughs> what the fuck about that? Hey, ain't nobody looking inside yeah, the I'm shit. Saying. Oh, inside mean, of like, it, it oh, says special they, thanks. Inside, like, inside of each one, it's going to oh, like, be a special like thing. Yeah. Inside of the box of each one, it's going to have everybody's name to their pre order. Mm. They're smart as hell, bro. Am I going to get it? Am I, am I getting a royalty? Nah. <laughs> That's a big no. <laughs> I didn't think so. I, I'm just playing, y'all. Seven, play, looks like it's seven engines on here. I don't, I don't want a royalty. Damn, yeah. Yeah. Uh, That'd be dope, though. So they got they, so they got that 8 bit um, synthesizer. They got, um, I think, I think they have an FM synth. Um, they got a um, bass and beats joint. That the bass and what? beats, it, it, it has a, it looks like the, um, it looks like the, uh, the MoFat almost. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's pink and blue. I'm looking at you that know. now. So wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Liven is the um, company. It, nah. No. All right. So Sonic mm-hmm. is the company, and Liven is yeah. like the oh, line. Yeah, exactly. It's like like right. Air Max. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like. And um and so like the low five six and low five twelve those are this is the live and low five six live and low five twelve you know and they got the live and eight bits um and, and so like yeah I'm not gonna lie after I, after I used the low five six and twelve like I was like I'm considering the other joints like mm-hmm. you know what I mean because like I I I, I kind of it, it, it's like the um the yeah yeah the whole ecosystem you know what, you what I'm saying what I mean? okay yeah and so like. One of them, because you understand how one works, it makes the other one like a little more appealing to you. And plus, the price, the the price, like I said, the price is not that bad. You know what I mean? Where it's not, it's like I, I'm, I'm getting like three or four cents. Like yes, I might be spend, I might spend a G over a while, but like I'm not spending a G at once and getting one thing. Mm. Like yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like like mm-hmm. you know like, cause you're gonna spend, you're gonna spend G's if you if you uh, buy a hog. You know what I mean? Like, like after a while, yeah, you know. True. So that's true. Shit adds up. Yeah, sorry yeah, for feeling your gas, man. And <laughs> not mine too, because I'm looking at that shit. I was over. I got the page open right now. Right. Yeah, and see, and that's the thing. You you be looking at it and be like, yo, the joint just looks so dope. Like, Bye. <laughs> like, like me, I be like, I, I I sit in the room and full of gear and just be dreaming about the next piece like yo what the fuck is wrong with you bro? <laughs> well then yeah and i got so many stuff so many boxes i need to go back to the manual just to get back into some of them you know what i'm saying yeah that is sweet right there that's how oh, i'm looking at that? this joint right here because those are my colors yeah it's like a nike and it's used colorway. for only 169 yeah that's not bad oh yeah, that's, that's a steal no you guys are fueling that's a steal i don't but that one doesn't sample that one doesn't sample though it's just oh, it's, like, it's just like a romper like a romper it does yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's bad when so colors you, make you want to buy a piece of a piece of gear. And that's and and like, yo, that and when I seen this this um the the the, the ALZ one the the play joint, then I seen that shit was all black that like that. I was fire. ready to pull yeah. the trigger. Yeah. Like that shit, that joint look like kick. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. <laughs> that shit is fire. I was ready. Edition. They got the little sine wave there on the screen too. <laughs> I was all oh, no, you know what I mean? Cause I love me a synthesizer. Like this shit look this shit look like something from the future. Like it's gonna be you wanna open it up, it's gonna <laughs> It does look futuristic. And since I got this shit out, I am gonna work make on something. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make something. Like it. it's, it's, you see how it's it's all pristine and blue. So mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, we're gonna give another uh another sample pack away with this episode, so everyone listeners, if you're just listening on a podcast, head over to our YouTube, we sample everything dot com. Or just type in we sample everything and um you can watch the videos for these episodes and in the description we put links to everything you need there and the free sample pack will be down there as well okay peace <laughs>